Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and whoever follows my page. Uh, Caleb's wishing you good morning, too. Um, we're going to do a tutorial today on uh, feathers, which is one of my favorite besides flowers. Um, come here, Caleb. Do you want to say hi? Say hi. <laughs> Caleb's playing with his, uh, his sharks and what else do you have? Alligators and everything in your water table? Yes. So we're going to do a tutorial um, and uh, Anissa from this and that uh, gave me a nice blank slate to work with. It's a beautiful headboard. Um, it's going to be with a set of furniture. She has a dresser and um, a chest of drawers. So she's going to be doing her magic on all of them and we decided that I was going to do a little bit of an accent with the headboard. So I'm really excited about it because it's better than having a piece of paper or canvas. Um, I've decided that painting on chalk paint or a clay based paint is very similar to painting on um, paper because it is very porous before it's sealed. So the only thing that you have to be aware of is drips. All right. So right now I'm working on a basically a vertical surface so there will be drips so I'm going to try to keep the water from being too runny for the first pass. Um, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to just get the basic shape of what I want then I'm going to come in later and I'm going to start adding in my detail. So at that point I'm probably going to lay it flat and that way any kind of pools of water that I get there can kind of sit and sink in and I don't have to worry about the drips. Um, Alright so the colors I have on my palette today, um, I have cobalt blue. I have some flesh tint. I use a lot of that. I pull it into my other colors just to kind of tone it down a little bit. And it kind of grays it out, which is nice if you're trying to get. Um, oh, did your ladybug fly away? Yeah, maybe he went back to his home. And uh, okay, so then we're also working with Viridian Hue, which is kind of a bright bright green if you think of a pea fowl um, he has very very bright color so um, I also put a little bit of crimson on my palette just in case I want to get any of those um, warmer hues in there as well and I always have a little bit of gray or black this is Payne's gray um, right down there we'll tell him goodbye ladybug all right so we're gonna get started I'm gonna mix in. Yes, oh, don't don't move this, honey, because it'll yes. fall over. You can come on this side yes, and say hello. Yes, Why don't you go get your? Would you Would you like to go get your soldiers? Yes, All right. So yes, I'm mixing up a gray right here, yes, and I'm just gonna start sketching out a little bit of where those beautiful feathers are gonna go. All right, they're gonna be pretty insane. Um, I am not too worried about the length of my lines right now. I'm just trying to get the general shape of where those feathers are gonna go and where the body's gonna go in the center. Um, one thing you always wanna think about when you're painting and be aware of is that every artist hits a point where they look at their work and they're like, this sucks so bad. I wanna burn it, I wanna throw it out, I wanna tear it up. Um, it's called the ugly face. Um, every piece of art at one point or another will look hideous. All right. You got to work past that. And that's where you start etching in your character, your details, your personal style. And it ends up being really kick ass. So, um, I'm just going to go ahead and in here. I'm a quiet artist. So sometimes I just start doing my work and I zone out. So you won't hear me yapping the whole time. You might hear my son though. You want to say hi? You can say hi. Look. Say hi. Oh. <laughs> You're shy. Okay. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm doing a little painting. Mommy, where am I with you? With you. Where did I go? Where did I go? Where did I go? 
I think she flew away to the garden. Maybe she went to go eat some of the strawberries. She's gone. What's that? That's my coffee. coffee. All right, coffee. so I wanted to bring this into the shot. Um, this is a PFAL that, uh, a profile that I did of one not too long ago. So we're gonna be doing the front view of this guy. Um, and I would say that the one on the headboard might be a little bit more abstracted possibly. I really wanna focus on the feathers and the different tones in the feathers. <laughs> and that is real life. That was my toddler knocking it over. So we might have to get some bribery for him, but um, we'll see if we can get this back on here. There we go. <clears throat> Mommy. You can go inside, buddy. That's fine. Do you want to get a piece of candy? Yes. Say yes, please. You got it, buddy. Here you go. You know, I thought about being a little more scripted with my first real video. I thought about putting on some makeup and taking off yesterday's, maybe taking a shower. But honestly, that's not real life. You know, this is real life. We got a toddler. We've just sent the other ones off to one of their last few days of school. And, um, it's pretty much how I look on a daily basis for the most part, unless I'm going somewhere. So here it is. This is real. And this is the stuff I get handed all the time. Little pieces of candy. Are you all done? Are you sharing? Thank you. That is delicious. <clears throat> I'd love if you guys are watching my video and, um, and you're working on a project of your own. I would be thrilled if you'd post pictures of what you're working on. Um, I like to see what my other artists are doing. I get inspired by seeing other work. Um, so let's see those beautiful projects. All right, as you can see, mostly grays, but I am pulling in a little bit of the greens and blues. Um, so Anissa put a base coat of chalk paint on my headboard. And um, mm. I'm sorry, it's DIY, so I think it's clay based. Uh, she put a little bit of some very light aqua in there just to kind of show me where she's thinking about going with that. So we're going to kind of coordinate. I have the best fun coordinating with that girl. She's exceptionally talented. <clears throat> Yeah, 
Yeah, I hear all kinds of rustling up in those leaves, don't you? You think it's a squirrel? <clears throat> no, it may be a mummy. It's a bicycle. It might be. It, it, may, it, may, it may be Jacob. I don't think so. Jacob's at school, bud. My papa. And my papa eats it. Want to go find a lollipop? Hey, I got my superpowers. Yeah. So as you're bringing these uh, feathers save, in, save a lot. I really encourage you to not do the same size feathers, not do exactly in the same direction. Um, nature's kind of messy. I mean, it's like, you know, it's like real life. Nothing turns out exactly the way you anticipated, but a lot of times it turned out much better than your original plan. So it's pretty cool. Anissa says that I should be the female Bob Ross. I don't think I have the hair for it, but um, we'll do some happy little feathers. How about that? You can say hi. You gonna turn around? He's um, he's having breakfast. Right, Caleb? Mm -hmm. Breakfast of champions. All right. Now, when you're doing the first pass of something, um, don't stress out too much about getting your detail in right away. Uh, watercolor is basically a hundred thousand different layers of paint and mm, two thousand little details. So, you know, we're going to have a lot of opportunity to come back in here. We're going to put in that extra detail. a little bit of sap green in with the feathers just to give it a little more dimension. That is delicious. Thank you for sharing. Why don't you go see if the ladybug wants a bite? Want to give her a little bite? She walked away. She walked away? That is rude. All you wanted to do was share with her. My goodness. How could she be like that? friends. I told you. I told you. She's you told gone. me? Okay. I told you she's gone. She's all gone? Okay. I told, I told you. This is Ladybug. I told you this. So I haven't figured out exactly the perspective I want in here with the face of the peafowl. So, um, what I'm going to do is after I finish the first round of feathers, I'm going to look at some photos and get some inspiration and figure out um, how I want his face to look on there. So, mm. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the set of feathers and then I'll upload another video later with uh, detail and we're going to work a little bit more on the face and the, um, the eyes inside the feathers. So, thank you for watching.